Okay, I'm going to continue my discussion on uh, homeostasis with an example from the body. And the example I'm going to use is the, um, the way the body regulates blood pressure. Now, um, the body uses this exact same model um, that, the, that I, I demonstrated with the surfer. And what happens is um, in the vasomotor center of the brain, the brain stem, um, sort of chooses a set point for blood pressure. So I'm going to talk about systolic blood pressure, SBP, systolic blood pressure. And um, there is a set point for the systolic blood pressure in this example um, of, say, 110 to 120 millimeters of mercury. And that is set in the vasomotor center. Now, what happens is since something changes in the system, maybe the patient, maybe the person is out jogging and starts to get a little dehydrated, hasn't uh, had a drink of water for a while, and the blood pressure is going to drop to 90. So that is the change. Now that change is going to be detected by uh, sensors in the carotid bodies and that is going to send a message back to the brain that uh, the pressure has dropped and then the, um, the brain is, uh, is going to react through the sympathetic system So the sympathetic nervous system is going to react and it's going to um, it's going to stimulate a corrective mechanism and in this case the corrective me mechanism is going to be to increase vascular tone so it's going to tighten up the um, the arterioles and it's also going to increase heart rate and those changes will return the blood pressure to the set point. Okay, so that is how the body maintains vasomotor, um, maintains blood pressure according to the set, the set point. Um, the vasomotor center dictates the set point um, Change is detected by sensors in the carotid arteries, the carotid bodies, and this um, detected change sends a message to the sympathetic nervous system to increase vascular tone and increase heart rate, and that results in an increase in blood pressure.